the preliminary proxy statement tells shareholders they will be entitled to receive $9.50 in cash for each share, which equates to 44% premium above the closing price of its stock on January 8 when the Apollo board announced it would pursue strategic alternatives. Of course that announcement quickly spurred shareholder grumblings about how that price isn't fair. But in its preliminary proxy, Apollo explains to shareholders why the merger agreement is fair. The document also spells out how the Phoenix company's top seven executives stand to get $21.7 million in golden parachutes when they sell their stock and get severance packages. But it's unclear who will stay and who will go. About $14 million of that money comprise payments for previously issued stock grants. Angela Gonzalez covers health, biotech and education. So far, three class action lawsuits have been filed in the Maricopa County Superior Court against Apollo and its directors, according to the preliminary proxy statement on file with the SEC. One of those was dismissed on March 4th.